Hello and welcome, and thank you for joining us for Concert Band Celebration 2021. Today you will see more than 100 performers from seventh grade to somewhat older who have devoted themselves to continuing to make music during lockdown by turning their homes into rehearsal and recording studios. We commend them all. These performers represent four concert bands from around Northern California. At the heart is our UC Davis concert band, which is in each and every piece, and who we heard opening the program with George Friedrich Handel's Regissance, or Rejoicing, from Music for a Royal Fireworks. This music was composed for the 1749 London celebration of the Treaty of Aix-la-Chapelle, which ended the devastating War of Austrian Succession. Next, we hear two more performances of the UC Davis Concert Band. First, we will hear music from Joe Hisaishi's amazing score for the 1988 Studio Ghibli anime masterpiece, My Neighbor Totoro. This medley includes the title song, My Neighbor Totoro, Cat Bus, The Path of the Wind, and Stroll. Following the My Neighbor Totoro medley, we will hear composer Hayato Hirose's Solomon's Ring, which captures the power and mystical majesty of the ring that gave the wise ruler Solomon the power and fortitude to complete the first temple of Jerusalem some 3,000 years ago. Again, thank you for joining us and enjoy. Thank you. 
Next, we will enjoy the first collaborative performance of this concert. This collaboration between the UC Davis Concert Band and the San Francisco Lesbian Gay Freedom Band represents the world premiere of this fantastic medley of selections by composer Will Marion Cook. While he's not well known today, Will Marion Cook was a very important composer in the development of American music around the turn of the 20th century. We want you to know more about him. So please watch this fascinating segment produced by the Ann Arbor Symphony. This is Musical Minutes, and these are composers you should know. In June of 1919, an orchestra made up of black American musicians boarded a steamship bound for England. Their history-making voyage was made possible by conductor and founder Will Marion Cook, a prominent figure in early 20th century music. Lesser known than giants like Gershwin and Bernstein, Cook nevertheless made his mark on American music with contributions to Broadway and the burgeoning genre of jazz. Will Marion Cook was born in Washington, D.C. in 1869 to middle-class parents. At age 13, he began studying classical violin, and at 15, he continued his studies at the Oberlin Conservatory of Music in Ohio. Cook found early successes as a classical musician. After an 1886 performance in Cleveland, a Cleveland Gazette critic remarked that he was creating quite a sensation as a violinist. From there, he set his sights on Europe, studying from 1887 to 1889 in Berlin. Yet, when he came home, he soon realized that making a career in music would be more difficult than he thought. Despite all of his training, opportunities for a black violinist were scarce. In fact, it would be decades before an African-American musician was finally accepted into a major symphony orchestra. In order to make a career as a black musician, Will Marion Cook needed to find his own style. From 1894 to 1895, Cook studied composition with Antonin Dvorak at the National Conservatory of Music in New York. It was here that Dvorak encouraged him to find his own voice. Dvorak was fascinated with American folk music and thought that American composers should embrace their own cultural roots. With a classical career out of reach, Cook turned to Broadway. Over the next decade, Cook wrote and published songs for Broadway musicals. His first major success was Clorindy in 1898, followed by In Dahomey in 1903 the first musical composed and performed entirely by African Americans on a Broadway stage. The music he wrote was a kind of musical activism, challenging racial stereotypes through performance. Outside of Broadway, Cook earned a reputation as a conductor and teacher. A young Duke Ellington was just one of the students he mentored. In 1912, he made his debut in Carnegie Hall, conducting a 150 voice chorus, and in 1918, founded the New York Syncopated Orchestra. Later renamed the Southern Syncopated Orchestra, the group made annual tours of Europe from 1919 to 1921, spreading the iconic syncopated style of ragtime to European listeners. 
Although he was unable to make a career as a violinist, Will Marion Cook embraced his cultural roots and used his classical training to uplift and popularize black voices in music. His influence was felt on the American musical landscape, both on Broadway and beyond. This wonderful medley by California arranger James Lamb includes four works by Will Marion Cook. From Clorindy, or The Origin of the Cakewalk, includes two syncopated rags, Dark Town is Out Tonight and Who Dat? And from 1902 show In Dahomey, it includes Molly Green, A Waltz, and A Cakewalk on Emancipation Day, also one of his most popular works. Please enjoy this wonderful medley in its premiere. Thank you. 
Wow, isn't that some wonderfully vibrant music by a true master composer? Next, we turn our attention to the fruits of our collaboration with the California Music Educators Association Capital Section Middle School Honor Band. To introduce that group, I would like to pass it over to UC Davis alumna and award-winning music educator, Stephanie Sugano. Hello, my name is Stephanie Sugano, alumnus of the UC Davis Music Department, class of 1998, and five-year member of the UC Davis Concert Band. I'm currently the California Music Educators Association Capital Section Middle School Honor Band representative. This honor band consists of 29 audition middle school students from five counties in the Capital Region. We would like to thank our conductor Pete Nallen and the staff and members of the UC Davis Concert Band for their collaboration and mentorship. We hope you enjoy this performance. Thank you, Steph. The two pieces that you will hear performed by the UC Davis Concert Band and the Capital Section Middle School Honor Band are, first, Tanya Leon's Alegre. Cuban-born Tanya Leon is truly a dynamic force in American music for the past several decades as a conductor, composer, educator, clinician, and just all around wonderful force for music. We very much hope you enjoy her homage to her home island of Cuba, Alegre. Following, we will hear the Studio Ghibli Anime March. This piece started its life as a processional for a big athletic event, but was then edited to become a fantastic competition and concert piece. It features works from the Studio Ghibli classics, My Neighbor Totoro, you will recognize some of those tunes, Laputa, Castle in the Sky, and Nazca of the Valley of the Wind. Enjoy this wonderful collaboration between the UC Davis Concert Band and our good friends, the Capital Section Middle School Honor Band.
Thank you so much for joining us for this celebration of concert band. We conclude with a wonderful suite of music from Hamilton performed by the UC Davis Concert Band and the California Youth Symphony Wind Symphony. The Wind Symphony is the newest of the seven ensembles in the 68-year-old California Youth Symphony program and we are very pleased to collaborate with them and to bring this entire concert to you. Again, thank you for joining us. We hope to see you soon in person at a concert. Take care.